It's Monday, folks. I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to get out of here. Just, I don't, I don't know. Oh, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Yeah, maybe, maybe I do have a case of the Mondays. But, we gotta push through. It's Monday. And this is Movie Time with Chris. And as we do on Mondays, we're talking about bad movies, in my point of view. And today, we are talking about Grown Ups 2. I had such high hopes for this movie. I really did. And I don't know. Let's start with the trailer. Remember we used to come here after we got wasted. What's wasted? Uh, when you have a hankering for ice cream. Well, I want to get wasted. I want to get totally wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. <laughs> I'm so glad we left the city. This is such a good place to raise a family. Excuse me for a second. Open the window. What the joke I put into you? Riding your bike to school in the morning. You couldn't do that in L.A. Yeah, thank God there's no crazy people out here. How did you become a cop after all that crap we did growing up? Put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Say ho! Oh. Say ho! I can't believe we used to jump off this. Hey, this is Kappa Eta Sigma property. <gasps> Easy there, Abercrombie. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Uh, hey, fellas, that was a good handshake. We got a good one, too. It goes like this. Oh, how you doing, sir? Very good, sir. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to take off that way. Naked. You guys are losers. <laughs> I was inside you! Oh! gonna like this. Hi girl, wash it up, extra selfie. You take these eyes, we'll take the yellow car. Oh, what is happening right now? Well, I might as well enjoy this. Oh. Your car is filthy. <laughs> I think the trailer put most of the best parts in it. Um, I think, don't get me wrong, Shaquille O'Neal did such a good job in this movie. He was so funny. Hats off to Shaq. Great job. And anyone who knows me knows that Grown Ups is probably my favorite, like my number one favorite comedy of all time. And I've actually talked about my favorite comedies. I'll link that video at the end so you guys can watch it. But I absolutely loved the first Grown Ups. I thought it was just amazing, life-changing, epic, so funny. <laughs> um, I think really what, what brought the humor to the first one was it just seems so genuine, you know, when they're laughing and having a good time and joking, you know, you see the sincerity and genuine laughter that's coming out of them that it just makes you laugh. There's, you know, there, there's a scene in Daffy Duck's Quackbusters 
when... Good evening, I'm Zed Topple, and this is Frightline. Tonight, the miniature elephant. Is it real, or is it merely a figment of our overactive imaginations? A product of our troubled times. Our guest is the noted metaphysician, Mr. Daffy Duck, who may be able to shed some light on this otherwise dark corner of our national obsession. Uh, Yeah, sure. Thank you, Zed. Folks, this so-called miniature elephant couldn't possibly exist. Now, I can accept something plausible. Ghosts? Okay. Vampires? Fine. But itsy bitsy elephants? That's silly. That's just stupid. That's not. Yikes! <laughs> if you start a fake laugh like that, it just triggers something and you will start laughing. You know, it's kind of like that with this movie. You get that sincere genuine laughter from them that's just it's what's the word i'm looking for that's just it's addictive you know they start laughing you start laughing and it's it just makes the movie that much better but oh it was just relatable and real and just it was like old friends came back together exactly what the story was and just had a great time then we got the second one where they were trying to recreate the first one which is a common issue with these comedies we saw it with ace ventura and ace ventura 2 we saw it with hangover and hangover 2 these movies try to keep on going with the the same success that they had in the first one and it's not always comedies we see it with john wick and john wick 2 and john wick 3 and equalizer and equalizer 2 you know uh taken and taken 2 and taken 3 they try to they have a success they have something that does so well and then they try to just copy it and you can't do that You can't keep the same jokes going because you hear the joke the first time and oh my God, it's so funny. You hear the joke the second time and you already know the punchlines, so it's not as funny. And then if you try to keep doing it, it just becomes annoying. And that's what we got with this second one. They kept trying to mirror the first one and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. Um, I saw the movie one time and I was like I don't need to watch this ever again Um, I do own it on digital of course (laughs) but you know my ex watched it a few times and I mean we were together she was watching it it was on guess what I'm gonna end up watching it too And as I watched it more, there was a few scenes that were a little funnier, you know, Um, but those scenes weren't things that were a carbon copy of what you got the first time. So that's probably what made them funny. But this movie was just all kinds of bad, all kinds of bad. And, you know, it's unfortunate because that group of actors is just amazing adam sandler does great stuff he's such a nice guy in real life you know um but yeah some of his comedies just haven't hit uh grown-ups too that's my boy jack and jill um i don't even know where you can find grown-ups too again i own it on digital so that's how i watch it I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Um, I think Shaq carried the movie. I think Stone Cold was probably hard up for cash, so he was in the movie. Um, But it was just, it was missing something. It was really missing something. And it was originality. But Grown Ups too. Grown Ups is great. Grown Ups is the funniest movie I've ever seen. Grown-ups too. 
So we have my favorite comedy and my least favorite comedy. And one's a direct sequel to the other. Who to thunk? But those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, you guys can find me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. I have a blog. And you guys can always reach out to me with questions, comments, suggestions through email, movietimewithchris at gmail.com. But until next time, stay safe, take care, and please be original.